How's it going? This is RD with RD Off Road. Today, we're going to be checking out this plasma cutter, the Titanium Plasma 45 from Harbor Freight. Um, I've been wanting to connect it to a CNC cutter, but this one is the one that doesn't come with the option to connect it. You have to open it and connect it. I already connected everything. But I've been looking for videos to how to do it, something easier. So I've been looking for a, a way, a video or something that explains to me how to do it. I haven't seen a video out there, so I decided to do this video even though I already did it. I wanna show you guys the wires I used to connect. Like that, if you guys are going through the same thing or whoever's going through the same thing, you guys could do the same thing. So this is gonna be, this part of the video is gonna be how to connect the wires, these two wires. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it to the, the Arc Droid CNC cutter. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it. I already, once again, I already did it. I haven't, I haven't actually tried it since I bought it. It's been a couple months. But today we're going to do that. We're going to try it, test it out and see what happens. OK, for this one, the specific model, the Titanium Plasma 45 from Harbor Freight, it doesn't come with the port to be able to connect the CNC. So you have to splice in the trigger wires, which you have to open this, follow the wires, see where they lead inside. I follow the wires from here to the connector. And from the connector, I follow, I checked inside, I probed it, I tested it. So I'm going to show you guys where I connected these wires. Like that, you, you won't struggle. You'll just open it up, connect it, connect it to the same way. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to test it. I'm going to do everything just to show you the wires that I used. I'm going to open it up. I haven't opened it up in a while, so I'm going to reopen it up. And I'm going to show you the wires, so bear with me because I don't remember how to take it apart. So let's take it apart. I might be able to, I might take off some screws that I probably don't need to take off. So bear with me. We'll be taking them all off. I know this one's got to come off for sure. I'm not 100% of which ones to take off, but we'll be taking, them off, taking off most of them. I know last time I opened it, I took some screws off from the back. I wasn't even supposed to take off those screws. I had a struggle just putting it back up. So. I know, I should have taken them off when I had to turn around. But like I say, I don't remember how to take it apart. I know it was like this. Okay. was off that one comes out that one comes out. see I'm not sure you pull it out these screws are good good I'm not sure about these bottom ones so I'm just gonna risk it take them off don't worry if I take them off Okay. Never mind. Like I said, I remember last time I took them off. Okay, I think these are the other screws we gotta take off. Anything that's back here in the back part where the water separator is at, I don't, I don't think you have to touch. I don't even think I got to touch the front, but we'll find out right now. Yup. Mm. 
No. Get the cover out of the way. No, I'm not sure, but um, I think that's all I needed. Yep. See? Just to show you all the screws. Let me bring it down a little bit more. All the screws that are right here with the cover on. Do not take them off. Leave them on. You don't need to take them off. That's where I did the mistake last time. And I actually took them off. So my wires are connected. This is the back, front, and you come in here. These are the wires where the wires will connect it. These, this plug right here, you take it off. There's gonna be three wires, but you're gonna use the wires, the one on the right. The two right ones, the right one and the middle one. You're gonna use it. I brought it all through a vent casing up here. See it? Right there. That's where I brought it out. So that's where I connected them. After I put it back together right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and connect it to the machine. See, I have it connected right here, which this machine goes to torch. I connected them. So let me put it back together. I'm gonna show you guys how to put it back together in case you guys miss something like that. You guys won't have to go back and this or that. You guys will see all the screws I take off. Once again, I'm gonna put the, grab the case Put it in here. I'm gonna shove it through the top in first. Then the sides, I'm gonna have to put the sides in. I don't know if you guys can see me right there. Let me check, certify. Okay, now you guys are gonna bring it down. Pull this wire out of the way, push it in. This side's good, let's check this side. Push it in more. Make sure all the bolts are lined up. Now I'm gonna grab The back part, remember, put it back in. You gotta kind of lift it, line it up, push it in. You gotta make sure these grooves, there's two grooves, on, one on each side, make sure you put them in. So now I'm gonna show you all the screws I took off, put them back together. I know I messed up some screws from last time. I don't know which ones were to which ones. They're all the same, except one. I don't remember which one that one was. So I'm just gonna put them in. Okay, this one's the first one. Second one. That one's the third one. Fourth, this is the part where I don't remember if this one goes here, but it is now. So that's five screws you gotta take off. One, two, three, four, five on this side. We're gonna flip it around. So we're gonna put five more. And you got two left in the bottom. These two down here. And 
then we're done with this. So I'm gonna put everything together. I'm gonna set up the machine, everything, and I'll be back. Okay, we're back here. We're with Arctroid now. I'm about to calibrate it. I'm gonna try to show you guys everything. Okay, so we're gonna start calibrating it. Sorry guys, my camera died. Well, I didn't die, it turned off. It's super hot in here, so the camera went off. I have the fan on, so it might be kind of noisy, but we're gonna load our file in here. My little penguin. Okay guys, so this is what I'm gonna load up. Now we're gonna go back and put it on and load it up. I want this right here. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the machine forward more because I wanted to cut over here at the edge and it won't reach. So I'll be back. So I still gotta me mess with the settings on the plasma cutter, but quarter inch thick. I'll get it. Okay guys, well that was it. I hope you guys enjoy it learned something if you guys needed to know something about how to connect that you guys now you know please subscribe like to the next video